Hey, 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 this is Bernie again from beautiful San Diego for episode three of our Ansel Freedom Casts. And I'm so excited that you're here and listening today. Um, what we're going to do today is install the LAMP stack. So um, many of you would love to install a LAMP stack on uh, one of your antlets because it's just the basis for so many software packages. And LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So um, let's see how we can achieve that with Ansel. So here's our Antman again. Um, we have our antlets created here. If you missed it, how to create your antlets and how to install Apache on it, go back to episode one. So you'll see everything there. Um, we've now just pre-created our LAMP antlet here. It's already running and um, we uh, log into it. So again, if you don't know how to do it, go back to episode one. So we are, we logged into our Ansel and then uh, we checked the Ansel OS version. It's 0.3.2. So if you have any other version, um, the procedure might differ to install uh, the LAMP stack. So we've already logged into our Antler 12. So here we go. Um, we have Apache already installed. Um, so what we do now is install MySQL, which is quite easy. All it takes is to say apt-get install MySQL server. Um, so this will install MySQL. When you do it, you might be prompted to, um, to provide a password for the MySQL root user. So if you get that prompt, just go ahead and uh, assign your password. And then the next thing is, so that was MySQL. And the next thing is uh, we install PHP. So we need PHP 5. PHP pair and PHP 5-MySQL in order to also install the connector that connects um, MySQL, PHP with MySQL. So now we've installed all that. That was quite easy, right? And we just say, um, we just restart our Apache server. So we use systemctl restart Apache 2. So then we go back to the source code directory. It's the var www html. Again, we showed you that in episode one. So what you see here is a simple index.html. That's the standard Debian um, Apache page. And then we have a PHP info. I've prepared that for you. It's a very small and easy file. It just contains this one line of code. It's the opening PHP tag. And then we just call the PHP info function, um, which shows us information about the PHP version that we have installed and the closing PHP tag. So let's check it out. So all it takes is we go to our browser, open a new tab, and then go to antlet12.local. So what we see is the index HTML, which is the Apache Debian default page. So that works out of the box. And then if we add the php info.php, we get that php info page and we get all the information about the installed php version. So that was really easy. Uh, just a few commands and we have the LAMP stack installed and we can do lots of stuff on the LAMP stack, which you will see in future episodes. Thank you so much for watching.